गुड मॉर्निंग डियर व्यूअर्स ऑन बाइसेग चैनल इन स्कोप सेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ सेशन ऑन लिसनिंग दिस इज निखिल जोशी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स फ्रॉम जी सेट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज वल्लभ विद्यानगर सो फ्रेंड्स एज वी ऑल नो दैट स्कोप इज द प्रोग्राम फॉर इंग्लिश इम्प्रूवमेंट and our college students our youth they can learn english in an easier way through this telecast of scope on biseg so we must congratulate the initiative of biseg for the telecast of scope for the telecast of such a uh, such a program on english and through this student from each and every corner of gujarat can learn english being at his own place at his own institute so friends uh in the scope session on listening we have divided it into two parts today we'll have certain discussion on listening and tomorrow we'll have some video sort of material on listening so in today's session let us begin with what do we mean by listening and what do we mean by hearing because friends in our gujarati language there there are two words uh, sorry in english there are two words listening and hearing and in gujarati for both the words we call it sambhalvu but there remains a difference between listening and hearing when we are saying it's hearing that means we are not paying attention to that and suddenly some sounds are coming to us and we are not paying much attention to that that can be termed as hearing but while you are saying it's listening that means your active involvement is required you are paying attention to that sound and you are trying to analyze and you are trying to understand something out of those sounds so that is called listening so friends after discussion on listening and hearing let us talk about uh, types of listening and how can we improve our listening skills uh as we know that there are four uh, components in communication and that is listening speaking reading and writing we call it as lsrw and you know why it has been termed as lsrw and not like wlrs or srl lw or something like that because the majority of time that we spend in our communication that is on listening compared to that less we spend on speaking compared to that less on reading and perhaps less in writing and that is why it has been termed as or it has been known as lsrw so these are the four components of communication listening speaking reading and writing and today we are going to discuss something on listening skills look at the graph it shows the amount of time that we spend on all the four components of listening speaking reading and writing you can have a look here that the majority of time that is 45% we spend on listening compared to listening less time that we are spending on speaking that is 30% compared to that less on reading that is 16% and 9% only we spend on writing so friends uh it indicates that the majority of time we spend that is all about listening but majority of our learners they don't know how can they improve their english or we can say their spoken abilities in english through listening and listening is somehow we can say bit neglected part of english training perhaps because we have never taken it very seriously and when we do learn english without paying much attention to listening definitely there remains certain things lacking in our training of english so under the session of a uh, scope on bisec uh, i would definitely say that listening is the most important task 
every learner should go for. Let us move ahead. Almost 45% of time we spend on listening. Listening is an essential management and leadership skill. See, as I said earlier, listening is the most important part in communication skills. Not only that, but it is to be considered that listening is an essential management and leadership skill as well. So, it indicates that once you are good at listening, you are, you are a good listener, you are an active listener, then you are good at even management and you are good at even at leadership skills. Look at the picture. And just try to analyze. On the left side, the person is asking, what is your key skill? And person on the right side, he replies, it's listening. When he is saying that his key skill is listening, what does he mean? And the, the left hand person, again he asks, why? And the reply is, I don't talk a lot. That means listening can be your key skill because see, uh, it is said that if you wish that people should listen to you, people uh, you want to be heard, then first you should be ready to listen to others. And that is why listening is the most important skill. It plays a major role in all kind of uh, relationships, whether it is professional relation or maybe a personal relation in your life but listening it plays a major role let's move ahead a process of receiving interpreting and reacting to a message that is what we call listening so what actually happens when we are saying it's the process of listening as i said earlier that there remains the difference between hearing and listening uh, when we are saying it's listening, obviously it becomes a process of receiving the message. After receiving the message, the listener tries to interpret, tries to analyze it, try to, tries to understand the things, right? And only then and then comes the reaction of the listener. And there, uh, uh, you know, it uh, completes the entire process of communication after uh, listener's reaction to the message which he or she is receiving. So ultimately, the listening process is a process of receiving, interpreting, understanding and giving reaction appropriate to message. Now, if we talk about the types of listening, basically there are four types. Appreciative listening, empathetic listening, comprehensive listening and critical listening. I repeat, types of listening are Appreciative listening, empathetic listening, comprehensive listening, and critical listening. Now, let us have a talk on all the four types of listening. As the terms or the names of listening, they themselves indicate certain things. When you are saying it's appreciative listening, by default it becomes or it sounds something related to appreciation. Empathetic, that means showing your empathy, showing your concern towards something or towards somebody. That is empathetic listening. And comprehension, that we know. Comprehension, that means to go through uh, the content and to analyze it and to understand it. So, same way, comprehensive listening, that means to uh, pay much attention to the message that you are listening, that you are receiving. And you are trying to analyze it, trying to uh, uh, interpret it and you are... Uh, supposed to react on it. That is called comprehensive listening. And the last is critical listening. Uh, see, especially in this type of listening, we can say that uh, while you are trying to judge something, whatever messages you are receiving, whatever you are listening, and you have to pay much more attention to that, you have to uh, take certain decisions on the basis of what is going right, what is going wrong, that is called critical listening. Right. So, the judgment part is involved in critical listening, which is not there in appreciative or maybe in uh, empathetic or comprehensive. But when it becomes critical listening, you have to judge on the basis of what is right and what is wrong. Right. 
in appreciative listening we can say uh, it gives aesthetic pleasure for example when you are listening to some uh, musician or maybe uh, some uh, comedian at that point of time you are not uh, paying attention in terms of you know uh, judging the performance right you are simply paying attention to listen to that because you are deriving some aesthetic pleasure out of it and that is why you are simply appreciating what you are listening to so that becomes appreciative listening if you talk about empathetic that is the second type of listening as i said earlier that showing empathy showing your concern towards something or towards somebody that is your empathetic listening for example if your friend is in trouble and he or she is sharing his or her troubles to you now at that point of time while you are listening to his or her problem you are paying you know your emotional attachment to that and that is called empathetic listening in comprehensive listening the best example is classroom session when your teacher is teaching and uh, students are listening to the teacher it becomes comprehensive listening because at that time students are paying attention to what the teacher is talking about what kind of content he is in, he is delivering and at the same time students are trying their best to understand to analyze to interpret and to receive the messages i mean whatever the content teacher is uh, dealing with so that becomes comprehensive listening and in critical listening if we take an example uh, in any singing reality shows when judges are listening to a participant a performer they are much concerned about where the performer is going right or wrong and they have to pass certain comments on it and they have to give their own judgment on it right so that is called critical listening just have a look this is appreciative listening right listening to music listening to something where you are deriving some pleasure out of it you are simply uh, appreciating those sounds what you are listening to so that is called appreciative listening this is something what we call empathetic listening look at the picture in picture number 1 the boy is you know he looks as if he is in trouble he is sharing his trouble uh, maybe to his uh, father and even look at the second second picture boss is again showing his concern towards employee's problem so that is empathetic listening comprehensive listening have a look in picture number 1 a meeting is going on people are paying attention boss is uh, delivering his talk he is addressing all the people who are present in the meeting and they are paying attention to what the boss is talking about and in the second picture you can have a look teacher is there in the classroom and students are paying attention to teachers right so this is called comprehensive listening and this is critical listening picture number 1 it's music recording studio music director while he is uh, recording some music he becomes a critical listener he has to be careful about singer's ups and downs while singer is singing so that becomes critical listening and even the picture 2 uh, it indicates something where you are taking utmost care of listening uh, of receiving your messages and you have to pass certain comments and you have to give your judgment on the basis of your observation observation here what i mean is on the basis of what you are listening to now let's talk about certain qualities certain characteristics a good listener should possess the very first thing which is required to become a good listener is being non evaluative so friends what do you mean by being non evaluative when i'm saying that being non evaluative is a characteristic of becoming a good listener what i mean is while you are listening to something don't try to don't try to 
क्रिटिसाइज वॉट यू आर लिसनिंग डोंट ट्राई टू क्रिटिसाइज इवन द स्पीकर एंड जस्ट पे योर फुल अटेंशन टू द मैसेज दैट यू आर रिसीविंग सो दैट बिकम्स बींग नॉन इवेल्यूएटिव एज अ गुड लिसनर सो द वेरी फर्स्ट रिक्वायरमेंट इज लिसनर हैज टू पे अटेंशन अदरवाइज फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग ऑफ द प्रोसेस ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इट गोज इन वेन एंड इट लीड्स टू द फेल्योर the second characteristic that we can say that is paraphrasing what does it mean paraphrasing that means while you are listening to something the person uh, what he wants to say uh, you just check it out you just verify whether what he wants to say is it exactly what you are getting right for example if i say uh, tomorrow uh, we will live bit earlier then as a listener you can paraphrase this statement of mine saying that uh, earlier means as usual we leave at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock or whatever then earlier that means one hour earlier two hour earlier or what exactly so that is an example of paraphrasing so being a good listener it is very much required that you and see you can paraphrase the statement of your speaker only then and then once you are paying attention to your speaker if you are not paying much attention to your speaker you cannot paraphrase in a better way right so you have to get the message you have to receive the message and on the basis of that you have to make sure that what you are getting from the message of the speaker is it exactly the same what the speaker wanted to convey to you so that is called paraphrasing the next is reflecting implications while you are listening the message you are into